So today we're gonna be doing a review on this Amazon digital speedometer. I bought it for this machine. Uh, I know it's for a car, but it should work perfectly with this or ATV or UTV, but I'm gonna install it on this guy. And uh, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how accurate it is. We're gonna put it in the car. Um, I thought the box was bigger. I've seen some reviews and I've seen people post videos, but this box is uh, pretty small. Make the device look bigger than it actually is. About six and a half inches long. Two and a half tall, three inches wide. So not that big of a box. So unless you move it. Test it out in the car. It comes with some some cheap 3M knockoff tape. You're not gonna use that. I'm gonna glue it on. It comes with a very long cord. It's an eight-foot cord. You guys can see. Stretched out, it's eight foot easily. So we got an eight-foot cord. Forgive my makeshift workspace, guys. This is all I got right now. Everything else is occupied. Comes with some thin, this feels like latex or vinyl. It's like a vinyl or latex uh, cover. Here's the unit itself. Fairly small, I thought it was a little bit bigger, but hey, what do you need? Uh, especially for what I'm using it for. For a car, it may seem like it would get swallowed up by the large dashboard, but here's the charger. I'll put in the back. Let's get some dimensions. So the unit itself is a little bit over six and a half. So it sits in that box on an angle. The top part, of course, is shaded, so it's wider than the bottom. The bottom is. About an inch, one inch, one eighth inch. Kind of give you guys an idea. So, I haven't looked at any instructions yet, but I'm assuming this wheel is for oh, it's, oh, it's to toggle through. I feel like a toggle switch to toggle through the different features. Yeah, so that is a toggle switch. That's some pretty straightforward instructions. Decorative atmosphere lights, driving vehicle compass. After satellite is found, it will stop flashing. So obviously it sets itself, GPS, number of satellites. Let's go test it out. Let's put it in the car and install it. Just for this scenario, guys, we're gonna use some of this cheap 3M tape on a device just to see. So we have to install it here. So we can try to get an accurate reading from it, from the mass power on the speedometer on the car. And we're plugging in here this five volt USB outlet. We're gonna plug it here. So let me install it here. Like I said, I'll use this. It does come with two pieces on the tape, so we'll use it. I'll just use one piece for right now because we're not mounted in here. We're just only using it for we using it for my other uh, my six by six amphibious vehicle. If you guys want to watch that on our channel, go to that video. You guys will see it installed and how cool it look, and I'll be doing amazing tests with it. So that's my so this so so let's plug the USB in before we set it in place and plug it in. So like I said, this is just for review purposes. It's not going to be installed in here, so we just gonna mount it. You can install it. You have enough cable to run throughout these side pillars up there through the headrest, however you want to run it uh, to hide it, but we're not doing that now. We're just testing them coming around this, under the steering wheel so it won't be in the way. Maybe this works like some contact glue or some contact paper or something because um, this part is sticking on here super good. The clear part, with the part where the clear film is, this film here, sticks on here good, so we're going to peel this part up. 
So maybe that's what the two pieces are for. The clear part sticks onto the plastic pretty good. And this, I'm quite sure both red sides will stick together. And hold, hold tightly, let's see. Make sure we're clear. Yeah, we on there now, we're not going over. Hey, it don't look the best. But this is just for review purposes. It's not going on here and I'm using glue on my machine. So uh, let's plug in. Let's go take a, let's plug it in and see what we got. Start the vehicle. Plug it in here. Power it up. It looks really good. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give them that credit. And I'm not going to hold anything back from them with the cheap tape. I get it. These products are mass producers. Just throw some tape in there. It's more about the device. You can get tape anywhere for cheap. Some double sided tape that'll hold on to that plastic with no problem but it actually kind of dimmed itself because it is light outside still but i thought that was cool man that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool let's toggle through some features mass power so the left side when you toggle to the left side so the, when you toggle to the left it controls this side of the device so you press the, you can also press the button in just press down on it like so let me zoom in to go into the settings feature if you just want mass power to show mass power and compass mass power and trip mass power trip and compass it's pretty cool or you switch to the left from time so there's a bunch of different seven. This is the GPS. That's the time. Minutes. I didn't touch the timer. You guys know I didn't touch the timer or anything. Um, the satellites just picked up. Uh, it's actually an hour off. I don't know what time zone is picked up because look what time it is here. This also has satellite. So this is the actual time. Now, just the clock. So, uh, picked up some Eastern Standard Time a satellite. I'm in Central Time. But um, it's easy fix, so let's go test it out. It may adjust itself when I get to driving. Okay, guys, this thing is impressively accurate so far. I mean, very extremely accurate. Well, we're heading east. You guys can see the compass. We're heading east there. Look at the miles per hour. They're, they're like smack, smack dead, dead, dead on. The miles per hour is like dead on, guys. I mean, impressive how accurate it is. Directly out the box, straight out the box. Straight out the box, guys. Very, 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 very impressive. I'm switch it to kilometers, guys. Let's see. Kilometers. And this thing is extremely accurate. Look at that. There's a very, very, very minute time delay between both but it catches up uh, extremely fast it's not even noticeable so very impressed with this so we run off kilometers now we're gonna run off kilometers for a while do a, a speed test real quick and then we're gonna kind of wrap this thing up we'll jump on the expressway really quick and see We're at 60 kilometers, 63, it's just, it's very accurate device. I'm trying to 
trying to film while I'm driving. Just make sure I'm extremely cautious and careful. I'm gonna do a highway test. about the kilometers. Oh man, traffic. Funnels up through here, so we should be clear in a minute. Um, look at the mass power. Look at the kilometers, guys. It's like spot on. So we're gonna jump back to mass power. System. I don't know if this was the Secret Service car or what, but this vehicle has a built-in uh, radar detector installed in the system. It's directly through the, the computer system of this vehicle. So that's the light for it. It makes crazy noise when it detects uh, how powerful the radar is. You'll know when you come upon a, uh, a radar, uh, police radar that's trying to detect if you're speeding or not. Listen to the crazy sounds. So, ignore the sounds, guys. We're on the highway, and there's all kinds of signs out here. No speed signs. It detects those. It detects everything. But it was already pre-installed when I bought this vehicle. I love it. I love it, though. You can turn the sound off from the dashboard and everything. But look at this. We're hovering at 70, 72. This may be more, a little bit more accurate than uh, Speedometer itself. <laughs> Due to the tire rotation, if you off with the tires, if these not the correct tires on this vehicle, it'll throw the speedometer off. But man, we're pretty accurate, guys. Pretty accurate. So I'm extremely excited with this device. We're on the highway, we're rolling, and um, I'll be back with my closing thoughts on this re uh, review and uh, show you guys probably a little bit more features, but. Yeah, look at that. Doing some night driving, guys. Before we close the video, I want to go a little bit more in detail on with this item. We're in the garage. So, uh, before I installed it on my previous vehicle, um, just been messing with it and tampering with it and just stunning different things. There's this, the sensor right here is for the auto dimming feature. So it has auto dimming uh, on this device. So just pressing this in once to, to scroll through all the different options. And uh, you, you wanna hold it for like three seconds to get into the menu and you go to set to, that's how you change it. So this is the setting for the speedometer. If the speedometer is off, um, just say if your speedometer is reading 100 if you read 100 miles an hour and this is reading 105, they said 
you set it down to 102. It should make up for that difference and become more accurate. So that's the first setting I learned. So I'll leave it there because it was accurate uh, on my end so far. This is the speed alert. So I guess when it goes in the excess of 150 miles an hour, you hear a ticking sound or a noise from the device telling you that you're exceeding 150 miles an hour. You can go down on it and set it how you want. I'm pretty sure that's what this is for. This is for driving fatigue. If you're driving more than four hours, it will go to sounding off to let you know that, hey, you've been driving for four hours straight and you need to slow down or pull over and get some rest. So you can set this uh, lower if you want, three and a half hours, three hours, four hours, four and a half hours, five hours. We'll put it back at the factory setting in four hours. So this is for driving fatigue. Uh, this is what. And this is for the brightness of the device. It has auto dimming on the device. Like I said, this is the feature for the auto dimming right here. So once you block it, it will become dim. I'll show you guys that in a second. And, but you can set it also. The brightness, the full brightness is number 11. You guys can see it's going up. So that's the brightness you get 11. And if you go back to down, it'll dim it down. You guys can see it's going through the dimming process. So that's pretty much it. This is in a really nice device, guys. It really is. So six is seven. Hold on, go back. So five is for the mile an hour or kilometers. That's all this does. Six is time. It says in, in 30 minutes increments. 30 minute increments. It'd be pretty much accurate to the hour. It just off by the um, the 30 or an hour increments. So I'm guessing that's why they have like this. And seven is, I'm not sure what seven is for. I'm not sure if this is even, if this is just an option that's on here, I'm not sure what this is for. Yeah, so to get out of this feature, so let's go back to, uh, let's set the, let's go back up on the brightness to like five. I'll leave it there. Even though it's going to reset when I re unplug it, uh, we'll just keep it at five now. I'll leave it around five or seven when I install on the vehicle. It depends on how I look with the other light, lights I have on there. But yeah, this is how you adjust it. So come out of this menu, just hold for three seconds, and you're out of it. So. Like I said, you just you can short presses, you can just scroll through all the options or the different displays and preferences to your liking. So um, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful somewhat. This is a really nice device. I highly recommend this. Even if you have an older vehicle uh, and you want some modern technology in it, if you're taking long road trips, this thing is awesome. It has trip features, it has compass, uh, it gives out a lot of great data for miles per hour and so forth and so on so um, great device to add to your older vehicle uh, to give you a little bit modern edge on what's going on in the economy in the world and it also looks great so and it's small and compact and this tape is still sticking on here but we're not using this tape we're using some uh, adhesive that will stick it on right nice exactly what i want so i'll show you guys when it's stuck on the vehicle but um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found it helpful. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys be notified when I upload new content. Terrence, and I'm oh, I want to note. Oh, I want to note. Uh, this cannot plug into a house uh, charge. You cannot plug the uh, this on a blocker, a USB block, and plug it into a house charge. No, 12 volts only. Only 12 volts. I'm running 12 volts. And you'll blow the device out if you hook it on a house uh, USB charger for the house.